Nestled in a valley lies Tegucigalpa, capital of Honduras. Drawn by the hope of work, it attracts a constant flood of people tired of trying to scratch a living from the land. Yet with nearly one million inhabitants, the city's natural resources are under threat as never before. People come from the rural areas and cut firewood like they used to do in uh, their old houses. And when they move here, they continue with that rural tradition of cooking for, with firewood. So that puts a tremendous amount of pressure uh, on the forests here. And you can see they pretty much disappeared. Recognizing that the demand for wood to fuel traditional stoves was on the verge of creating an environmental disaster, the Honduras Association for Development, ARDESA, approached trees, water and people, a not-for-profit group specializing in forestry protection. Reducing deforestation wasn't the only aim, as open cooking fires are a serious health hazard. Benjamin, ARDESA's director, visited many local homes so he could test the amount of toxic smoke in the kitchens. This filter captures the particles floating in the air. For example, there are tiny particles that can get into our lungs and make us ill or cause us problems. The result is revealed clearly on the filters. Women and children are inhaling toxins equivalent to smoking two packets of cigarettes a day. Children from when they're born they suffer because we cook while pregnant and we inhale the smoke. It's as if the baby had smoked, so the baby is born with respiratory problems because the smoke has caused lots of damage. Donna Huster was one of the pioneers who trialled the new fuel-efficient stove, which has been named after her. Cutting back dramatically on emissions means the kitchen is nearly smoke-free, while the Huster hot plate is ideal for tortilla production. Cheap, locally available materials, bricks, cement, clay or sometimes ceramics, are all that's needed. Special features include the L-shaped combustion chamber, which sits on top of the foundation and is back-filled with ash to help trap the heat and save on wood. Another is the chimney, which removes 95% of the toxic smoke. So what does Donna Husta think? They are all hot, and here inside the stove, I don't need more firewood until dinner. For me, this is wonderful. I'm so happy. I believe it's not just me, but many families. The new stove saves time, as many dishes can be cooked at once. It also saves money, as less fuel wood is used. So far, 2,500 stoves have been built in Honduras, and demand is so great that technicians are being trained in mass production. Shortlisted for an Ashton Award is the Micro Enterprise Project, where a variety of stoves, costing from between 8 and 60 US dollars, are being produced. Credit is available for people who can't afford to pay up front. We plan to use the Ashton Award, the funding, to uh, implement a, a microcredit program here. Even though the stoves only cost about uh, $60, the Husta stove, that's still too much money for people who make, you know, $100 a week. I've noticed the improvement and felt the change, and I'm very happy with the research carried out. We thank God and the people who made the arrival of these stoves possible here in Honduras.